In this lesson, we will learn more about Angular module. Angular 2 applications are modular, and it has its own modular system called ng modules, also known as Angular 2 modules. An ng module is a vital part of every Angular 2 application, and all of them has at least one ng module, which acts as a root module. So, what really is it? Basically, in code, it is simply a class with an ng module decorator. And in this class, we specify our declarations, exports, imports, providers, and bootstrap. All right, enough talk. Let's start coding. Let's open the app.module.ts file by going to the file view, and then go to app and app module.ts. Then let's hide the file view. This class is basically our ng module. As you can see here, it has the ng module decorator with the declarations, imports, providers, and bootstrap attributes. And as you can notice, it has an empty expert class. Now, if you notice, you have all your components, directives, and services imported in this class, in which we're adding in declarations, imports, providers, and bootstrap. Let's take a closer look. In the declaration part, you see here that the components and the directives are added here, as well as our pipe. So whenever you add a new component, a directive, or a pipe, you should always add it here in the declarations part. Now for imports, you'll see here that we have browser module, forms module, HTTP module, routing, and NGB. If you remember, NGB module is for Bootstrap 4. And then we have providers. And as you can see, we have stock service here. So all of the services in your application should be added in the provider section. And lastly, we have the bootstrap. But wait, please don't be confused about bootstrap 4 and bootstrap. Basically, bootstrap 4 is the front-end application framework, and bootstrap in here is basically the main application view, which is also called the root component, which hosts all other app views. All right, let's do some demo. First, let's open the terminal, type control, And then let's create a dashboard component. Now, since it is a component, it should be added in a declarations part. We can do it manually, but for now, let's use Angular CLI. So here, let's type ng, g, and then component, and then dashboard. And automatically, we have our dashboard component CSS, HTML, spec.ts, and our main TS file has been properly generated. Now, take a look at our app.module.ts. What do you see? It was also properly added in our declarations properties. All right, let's just resize our screen here. Then let's clear our console. All right, now let's try it out with services. So here, just type ng g service and then type currency, then answer. As you can see here, our currency that service has been properly added, but there's a new warning message. It says, Service is generated, but not provided. It must be provided to be used. Basically, what it means is that in your app module TS, it's not added to the providers, as you can see over here. To add it, 
Let me put currency service. And then import it. Just import the currency service from the currency service file. Let's try it out for directive. So type ng g directive and bonds. If you may have noticed, it's not automatically added in our declarations properties, unlike with components. But don't worry, we can add it manually. Just import it first. So import and then bonds directed. Then bonds directive. Then finally, add it here in your declarations properties. And now we can finally use our new components, directives, and service. And that's it for our NGO module lecture.